much more advanced than that. That's the only thing about the black mind is we get satisfied. The first thing we feel comfortable with so we don't go further. So it's just like the Afrocentric movement. They heard that we were pharaohs and, and all this shit was black. And some people settle on that and they go no further. You see what I'm saying? Nobody never pondered what did the damn pharaoh think. So, and then some people, you know, they heard that Horace was Jesus and all this kind of thing here, and they just settled at that stuff. You see what I'm saying? And to the point where they didn't know what Horace did, so they went on back worshiping Jesus. <laughs> and Horace, the Messiah Horace, got more in common with the damn devil and the damn Jesus thing here and all, because what's coming back to this motherfucker here is straight up horrible. And they say that in the ancient world when they talk about Kali and all, they say most terrible God, most terrible God. So what's coming back here is pure vicious. This Lama Joe character will bite off the heads of your babies. And that's gonna be sublime. Why? I'll give you an example why. When they come back, everything that you, that you, 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 you love dearly is gonna be destroyed. Why? Think about it. I'm going to show you what this is. This is one of the great secrets known to, that, 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 that most people can't part with. That's why we got a lot of confusion going on. Or why stuff has to be. And that's why we always come back to a religious background and try to be righteous. Now look at this shit. Uh, you know how the Native Americans was on this land and the white man came and took their land over? Stuff like that. And took, took a residency in something that was here before them that is not there. Well, just the same as that, that it was a bunch of entities that used to rule and humanity came and took over these motherfuckers' dimension. And now these motherfuckers is coming back to seize their dimension and kill humanity. There's only one damn mystery to that. That's who these people are. Your soul. Your soul used to set up residency here and it got covered over with a motherfucking ego entity. They covered it over and started, uh, started damn intrusion on their particular civilization and trap them with inside of its being and now that soul is getting ready to come back to kill the human spirit because humanity is a fucking intruder on another entity that used to be here before here but you just don't know it's your soul that's some powerful bad ass shit so you best believe that when that motherfucker coming back it ain't gonna give a damn about killing you and guess what's killing you your own self so it's easier to die with dignity by knowing a little bit that was killing it than some motherfucker that's being in the I'm going to tell you something. When this shit come back, and it's coming back soon, you best believe it ain't going to be a happy day for no motherfucking nigga down here. At least for a few seconds until it dies and then realize that it's only itself. Uh, redoing itself. Then you understand how that shit go. That's the real shit that's really going on. That's why ain't nothing really working. So I said that again. The white man took over the land of all the indigenous people. Those indigenous people who are humans took over the land of another entity which so happens to be in soul sleeping on the inside of it. So your soul was taken over by you. Because you are nothing but an invention, uh, an invention of another entity that put all this shit, the cells and all that shit in the being and made another entity and your soul ended up going to sleep and thinking that its shell was real. That's the real shit when you really start teaching on this shit. You see what I'm saying? You got to keep pushing it. You can't stop with just the what you call it. You got to keep pushing it till you get to the end result. I done been to the goddamn end result. I done been to the end result. So when I told the motherfucker the other day, fuck this house. You see what I'm saying? I said that long because I knew what time it was. So motherfucker said, yeah, my kid died. I said, don't worry about it. Ain't no big motherfucking deal shit. Don't die any goddamn way. You see what I'm saying? It ain't about preserving humanity. And stuff like that. So this thing goes on and on and on. But I'm trying to say, now I'm not trying to say that another person coming in, they stuff is not that but that's what I teach based on what I'm supposed to do. You see, and my stuff was basically to bring forth the stuff, take it, keep on going until you get to the end result. And that's the damn end result of this type of stuff here, ultimately. But on the other hand, since we still live in this stuff, I deal with all the other stuff too. 
But I gotta get up every morning and shit, you know. But I understand also too. In the nightmare, it's written into the script that the damn beast is over us. You see what I'm saying? And he's also probing because he understands that there ain't no soul left after he's destroyed. So he's trying to retard my progress. So that's some of the stuff also. Let me ask this question then. Is there a chance for, for those who come into consciousness with you just brought forward to uh, strike a balance? Hey, I know that this physical uh, aspect of me has enslaved my soul. Right. So before um, you matter if I bury my eye comes and really strikes that balance, say, I, I'm pretty sure that when the physical aspect took over, took over the soul, it wasn't no... Uh, like, like the process with the Indians where they just signed a treaty and just kind of gave it up for nothing. The Indians actually died, they were killed, they were murdered, yes. and slaughtered. Yes. So I'm pretty sure there was something, even though it's symbolically, probably happened between the physical and the soul. So if I know that, if I understand what happened, could I, do we have an opportunity to find a balance between the soul and our physical body so that this destruction doesn't take place? Uh, or is it no, no, you gotta understand something. If the destruction don't take place, you're gonna, you gonna forever be in bondage. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. What I'm trying to say is this here. You wouldn't want the white man to get away with what the goddamn Indians, what they did to the Indians, right? And you wouldn't want that motherfucker to be swift, too. Crushing. <laughs> so why you want the physical to get away with what it did to your soul? That's something. Powerful shit we dealing with. It's some badass shit. <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is, there ain't no balance. If you gotta get out of the field, you ain't going no damn way. You just gonna be another entity. Now what is so? Well, I tell people, uh, you know how you been? You worship a god, and you would like to think that your god was the greatest motherfucker in the universe. <laughs> Whatever your god was, otherwise you wouldn't be worthy of worship. Okay then, <laughs> take that same lesson that you know, all that you've been giving to that God and apply it to your soul. And you would really want your soul to flourish over your inferior behind or what you damn limited even begging a white man for some crumbs. You see what I'm saying? What we're talking about here is winning this shit where we become total gods again. Your soul is the soul. Your soul is the only God there ever was. The, 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 any God that you have worshipped outside of you was a subordinate creature that took over this shit. You see, they trap your soul. So all the thing I'm trying to say is now, take to, to, to understand what's really going on, take anything that you have ever admired in a god or some superhero, a fantastic supernatural being, and apply that to your soul. Because everything that that is, your soul is that and three times more to the point where as the damn universe can't even comprehend on the level of your soul. I want to get to that motherfucker fast. Damn shitting and pissing and gotta get something to eat and all this kind of shit. <laughs> you jealous? You see what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? And, and worrying about petty shit. That's what I'm trying to say. The humanity part is over. You see, you just gotta understand what you're trying to say. That's the human part speaking in you. It wants to survive. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you get the movie of Vanilla Sky. Motherfucker say, I do exist. He say, you exist, but take him in the damn name of your two daughters. He talking about his two daughters, old people, didn't even know their fucking names. You see what I'm saying? Did, 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 didn't even know his name. That's like a nigga, don't even know where he came from. Don't even know his history. You see what I'm saying? Don't even know his history. Got the damn masquerade in another motherfucking history. That's a lie. So the point you know, so what I'm trying to say here is, there is no balance. This is an entrapment. This is a this is a dream. Dream, like I say, all you hear me say this thing before, but we have to keep on reiterating because we need to, because this is so powerful. This is nothing but something that your soul is dreaming out. It doesn't even exist as an illusion. And I'm you know, we gotta stay getting away from the dream, because the dream is costing my motherfucker boy. Big time. Anytime you gotta pay to stay in the damn dream. <laughs> and when you don't pay, you got less of the dream than other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's true. You know, and then make it even worse, we got people that's got less of the dream and still want to stick around in the dream. You know, you got no, you got rich happen. white motherfuckers that don't work. That's right. Ever. That's right. They people they never work. You see what I'm saying? And when they fools get dirty, they buy a new house. We talking about motherfuckers that's living on a level 
us a, a luxury that we can't even fathom. And that shit is unfair for a motherfucking intruder. You see what I'm saying? But then again, on the other hand, that's still an illusion. But here goes some people that's got less than that, and they want to stick around. Because all it is is just trying, because that's survival is the ultimate religion. Mm-hmm.